Hey, I'm just grooving. Welcome back to the show, baby. <laughs> now it's time to get some celebrity news. And here to help us out is my home girl, Leah's Lemonade, baby. It's about to go down. Thank you for coming <laughs> on because I love being a guest on your show. So welcome to my show, The Mitts, where it's going down. What's going on with you? Okay, now listen, I got to tell y'all, I went to Howard University, and if you go to a carryout in the DMV, when you want the tea and the lemonade, you get a mix. So, oh, I'm gonna, okay. I, I like that. Okay. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I like you. I like you a lot. Yo, I love you know, the energy. I'm telling y'all right now, I love the energy. And I, yeah. I got to ask. We're going to get all into it, okay? What you got up for? Shorty, talk to me. All right, so let's get into it, y'all, because there is a lot going on in Hollywood, as you all know. So if there's one thing April Jones is going to do, she's going to keep a man. Okay, so the reality star, <laughs> Omarion's kids, has allegedly been spotted with Dr. Dre around town. She was wearing a mask, so technically it's allegedly, but they had matching tattoos. Now, April is known to stir the pot after dating Omarion's former band member, Little Fizz, and seeing how Dr. Dre is in the middle of a nasty divorce, it might not be the best look. Now, now her dating life seems to constantly be a hot topic, but Fizz's baby mother, Moni Slaughter, actually jumped on Instagram Live over the weekend to confirm that Dr. Dre and April have been a thing. And she claims that Dr. Uh, Dre wifed, a, almost wifed April, and that they've been dating long before the public knew. So I don't know. How y'all feel about this, this little situation? Because technically, mm. he's still a married man. Mm. Mm. Yes, true. Folks, business. I'm gonna walk my way out of this and listen. Right, I was just gonna say, Rodrigo, listen, I don't to talk about anybody's relationship because I right. feel like that's their business. I, oh man, right. I, I will. I will say this though. I know April, and so I met April before she got with Amorion, and I just remember April being this like super sweet, mad talented, beautiful girl with this incredible energy. And so it makes sense to me that she would be with a guy like Dr. Dre who's on this level all the way up here. And I'm saying like, if they are in love and if they're happy, I'm just sending them lots of love and I hope that it works and I hope that they just love on each other hard. Time, it's the I, day, I, 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 be happy. Oh, oh all right, look, 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 I, I, like, I like all that. Well, y'all, let's, let's be a hundred for a minute. Come on, come on. Come on, Let's be a hundred for a minute. Turn me up, Josh, turn me up. <laughs> I want to say what y'all were thinking. How did April end up with Dr. Dre? I get, <laughs> I get she's sweet, pretty, talented, all that. But Dr. Dre is like there, there. I'm like, what room were they in? Or was it the DM sliding in the DM? I just want to know some tea. And my thing, my thing with Monice is, Monice, be quiet. I don't like people like, who always <laughs> like, just be quiet. But that, you know? If they happy, they happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hollywood is small. Hollywood is super small. Like you'd be surprised. Y'all yeah. know y'all been in rooms with people and you're like, oh, here is yeah. da da da. And it's just a simple conversation. If a vibe is there, a vibe is there, whether you have a wife or not. But I was gonna say, I just want to speak very generally. If you're a married man, you're a married man. Man, I agree. I, 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 again, well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with wait that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -huh. You've been married for a long what time. What and what actually, you actually be separated and not with the person for years, actually. But what? you legally haven't separated. You're still married. Look, look can I ask y'all this? Why are y'all surprised that a beautiful younger woman is with a successful older man? We see it every day. Every day. Well, my thing is, Dr. Dre doesn't even go outside. He's like a ghost. <laughs> so what? How did that go outside? Look, yes. on, on, on that note, can you give us some more tea, please? We, we need yeah, to go <laughs> 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 Okay. okay. All right, so listen, Jessica Brown, a.k.a. the Gorilla Glue Girl, I like to call her a woman, has been making headlines, obviously, for the last several weeks after applying Gorilla Glue to her hair. Well, the mother of five well, I didn't have any surgery more last week that removed the adhesive from her scalp. Well, mm -hmm. things are going pretty well for her because it's being reported that she now has a full-time agent. 
Jatoni, who represents stars like Lamar Odom and Black China. And the company, you know, gives product placement, marketing, celebrity management, casting, scripted TV, and reality TV. Well, she's getting to the business, but she's also donating $20,000 of her GoFundMe money to the Restore Foundation, which is basically the foundation that the doctor who did the surgery on her head actually runs. It's his nonprofit. So technically, you know, baby girl's giving as she's getting. And so I want to know from y'all, how do y'all feel about your, her come up? Because a lot of people are questioning it. I actually talked to her exclusively yesterday in an interview. And she told me that GoFundMe actually can't even release the money to her because people have said the account is fraudulent. What? Mm. I mean, I'll give Tessica a hootie hoot deal. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a certain way about it as an artist, you know, as a like an actress who has been in, in the game for a long time and just kind of having a break and getting some notoriety. I feel like everybody deserves their moment of fame, right? However that moment comes. And especially if she's giving back, I think it's great. But I believe in longevity. And I think a lot of these people you know, super glue or big booties. They have these moments of fame and they build these millions of followers, but how long is that gonna last? Where, you know, how long can you sustain that type of fame? Well, in all fairness though, plenty of white folks get go viral and live their 15 minutes of fame out and nobody yeah. says nothing to them. I feel like this black woman has been under attack. She literally said, I yeah. went to the internet because I did not know what to do. We tried everything else. And so with that being said, Listen, if you get your 15 minutes, you better strut while you got it. So okay. I'm not that part. She, she went, I, she went I, to the internet after a month and she went to TikTok. Yeah, right. Not the ER, not the hospital. But hey, get it how you live. You, know? you got to get I this story. And what you got for us next? All right. Okay. Last story. Now, this one, y'all, is a little interesting because, you know, listen, every couple has their kinks, and I'm not too sure about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. So over the weekend, Machine Gun Kelly shared a picture of an orb, um, a little circle jewelry with a drop of Megan Fox's blood in it. The caption read, I'll wear your blood around my neck. While you may think that's a little weird, they're actually not the first Hollywood couple to do it. Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton did it when they were married in the 2000s. What do y'all think about that? This, this is giving me very much voodoo vibe. This is giving yeah. me very much New Orleans. This is giving yeah. me very much, I'll put a hex on mm -hmm. you. Like, mm -hmm. if you ever try to leave me, you'll die. The blood will just... Yeah. Girl, I, 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 somebody to tells me to all. put some blood in a, anything for them to wear, I'm running. I'm That's what I was going to say. I was going to say exactly that. I'm taking my eyes out. <laughs> and let me, let me tell you, like, I've been with somebody, and they did voodoo on me. So I know it is wait, very wait, wait, good. How, 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 how? Oh, oh. Okay, so. The spaghetti? Okay, so, uh, spaghetti? What happened? The spaghetti? Y'all know the, y'all know what. what yeah, they, I, know, what I know, I know what you're talking about. I know I know what? Well, I, okay, this, this is what I was told. This is what okay. I was told by a psychic. I was told that she made spaghetti and then she put blood into the spaghetti yep. to like try to keep me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A specific yeah. type of yeah. blood though. What kind of people? No, <laughs> no, let's not. Erica, you, you know, Erica, you know who I'm talking about. I mean, like, I definitely know who you're talking about and I believe that could be true, but I also believe that you can't keep telling that story because the more you confirm it, the more power you give it. Is that? Ooh, I think. I okay. It might, it yeah, might have been something fishy going on, but. <laughs> machine, <laughs> all the blood vampire talk machine. Oh <laughs> hell of an artist, he revamped himself. Yeah. I like what he's doing. Shout out to one of my friends who went to USC with me, Andrew Sandler, who's his producer and director for his videos. But yeah, as an artist, he's great. But you know, some people like what they like. Oh, so, Romeo, <laughs> are you gonna put uh, your boo's blood around your neck then? I'm since saying, I if I, if my boo like that, I'm gonna do what she like, baby. That's all I'm saying. Let, let me tell you, yeah. don't y'all know? Guess where Romeo is from? New Orleans. So he already, oh, he already oh, went. Okay, oh, 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 Romeo. <laughs> Maybe a. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I knew okay. Romeo was just a different <laughs> He, he loved the Lord, but he a little freaked out, clearly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Anton's voodoo, I don't know about y'all, but I need a break to go and think about what the hell we just learned today. But first, I want to say thank you, Leah, for spilling 
all the celebrity tea and for coming on the show. Your energy is unmatched. It's amazing. I love it. I feel it through the screen. I'm sure everyone else does too. Yes. Right yeah. Back. Keep it right here, locked in on Fox Soul. <laughs> you gotta come back. You gotta yeah. come back.